Do you like being right about things? Do you like maybe saying I told you so to some of the people who called you a conspiracy theorist and a whatever other name they call you? Well, you're going to love the next couple minutes. Because like I just said, the Wall Street Journal had a piece that said the Energy Department says that, oh yeah, the lab leak was true. Now, we've got several videos to play here of the fallout of that, including some clips from years past of one Dr. Fauci, if anybody remembers him, also former President Trump. And then we have some hilarious new clips of some of the news media poking fun at the whole lab leak theory and also some of the news media uh, trying to downplay it. Oh, this is, uh, we don't know. Watch this first clip. This is uh, one Dr. Fauci, not him specifically, but I believe this was the Today Show or Good Morning America, uh, one of those big network shows, talking about what Dr. Fauci was saying all while everybody was like, hey, this whole lab leak thing seems really, really suspicious. I want you to watch this and check this out. And again, we're going to roll through a bunch of videos. Uh, but this, this whole thing is just hilarious at this point. Watch this. This morning, Dr. Anthony Fauci is shooting down theories that the coronavirus was man-made. He tells National Geographic everything about the stepwise evolution over time strongly indicates that this virus evolved in nature and then jumped species. Fauci added he does not believe another theory that the virus occurred naturally but was accidentally released into the public from a lab in China. Telling Nat Geo, that means it was in the wild to begin with. That's why I don't get what they're talking about. Uh, okay, so again, none of this is new information. There's a couple of people in the comment section saying, hey, wow, who cares now? Well, yeah, well, because I don't think we should let things go, especially with how everybody was treated. Remember, social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all got locked for even suggesting that the lab leak theory was a thing. And now it seems like the federal government, the people that pushed all of this stuff, on all of us is saying, oh yeah, the lab leak seems like the most likely scenario. Again, uh, this is coming from a new Wall Street Journal post. Uh, here's a clip of President Trump answering questions. When the media, going along with what the government said, because that's apparently their job nowadays, uh, pressed him about, well, do you have any information on the lab leak theory? Watch this clip. And my question is, have you seen anything at this point that gives you a high degree of confidence that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was the origin of this virus. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I think that the World Health Organization should be ashamed of themselves because they're like the public relations agency for China. And this country pays them almost $500 million a year. And China pays them $38 million a year. And uh, whether it's a lot or more, it doesn't matter. It's still they shouldn't be making excuses when people make horrible mistakes, especially mistakes that are causing hundreds of thousands of people around the world to die. Uh, yeah, so at the time, remember, if you remember this, I certainly do, uh, President Trump was called uh, conspiracy theorist and xenophobe because, well, we can't call it the China virus, even though it originated in China and like most other big pandemic viruses, that's how you name them from where they originate. But I digress. Uh, now on to some of the news media. Now, there's a lot of friendly coverage on this, obviously on Fox, um, on some of the more friendly conservative-ish outlets. Uh, CNN did a pretty good job of just reporting it, even though CNN has been complicit in all of, complicit in all of the lies that have been going around this. But I think the most juicy and the most fun channel to watch is MSNBC. Now, probably a lot of you people are like, I hate MSNBC. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I agree with them, but it's hilarious to watch them twist themselves in knots trying to justify very, very poor journalistic behavior on their behalf while also still trying to give somewhat of an accurate summary of what's happening. Watch this clip from MSNBC, and just with me, if you would, just, just, oh, it's just so juicy and good, watching the backflips, the mental gymnastics of, oh, this, this is, this may be what the, maybe what happened, but, but, but I still, I still am the Fauci religion, and COVID is king, and, ah, watch this clip and see if you can get inklings of that as they begrudgingly tell you what's actually happening.
This new information, according to a classified briefing that happened uh, on Capitol Hill nearly a month ago, has led the Department of Energy and the Department of Energy alone to update their findings with low confidence that this may have uh, originated due to a laboratory leak in China. So that's well, what we and have on this. This is certainly not something that intelligence agencies... Um, nor the government, the U.S. government, would ever get confirmation on from China themselves, um, despite um, the numerous investigations into it. Yeah, uh, well, there's the low confidence of the fo- I don't think we, maybe, possibly a little bit. I just love that sort of stuff. Here's something actually kind of interesting, too. Uh, I'm, I'm watching in the comment section as this stuff scrolls through, and there's a lot of people saying, who cares? We knew we were right. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who um, cares? Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I care, and I think all of you and all of us should care, because what's the the age-old saying? Those who do not study or react to history are doomed to repeat it. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth calling out every single individual, institution, government agency that said X, Y, Z about all of the quote-unquote conspiracy theories. I think it's worthwhile calling them out and telling the world how wrong they were so that they don't get to wield that power in the future. That's why I think it is important. I know people are tired of talking about COVID. Like, I fully understand that. I am too. But at the same time, in terms of the public holding the government and really all of the big institutions accountable for the things they've done in the past, uh, Unfortunately, it's a thing that we have to talk about. That's in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I get there's a lot of people in here that are done talking about COVID, and I understand that. However, uh, it is necessary to make sure people, all people, are informed enough uh, to, for whenever this next, whenever the next thing happens, we don't implicitly trust the government and all of the media outlets.